So I was laid off back in April, it's hard to believe but it's been over 5 months now. And honestly during that time I had to make a choice between two options. I could either just sit around and wait until I found a new job or I could actually take some action and start building something meaningful while I was searching. And the first option, that was never really an option for me. I've never been the type to just wait for things to happen. I get anxious if I'm not doing something productive, something that can actually push me forward. Waiting around, wasting time, hoping for luck to strike, it just doesn't work for me. So I decided to take the second path. I started building India's applications and at that time I expected to make money to barely pay off my Apple developer account. Fast forward to now, I have 28 applications published on the App Store, my highest MRR so far was 370 bucks back in July and this month I made 238 bucks. These are not life changing money but it's enough to cover my bills and that feels like a huge win considering where I started. My next goal is to grow it to a level where it can comfortably cover my rent and my bills. Right now my rent is 400 bucks so I'm aiming for at least 600 MRR from the apps alone just to have a little breathing room. And that's my plan for the next month, hitting 600 MRR from the apps not from YouTube or anything else. Because honestly AdSense barely covers 2 or 3 coffees for recording these videos, which is funny but I'm happy because of that, not gonna lie. So how am I planning to get there? My strategy for September is to release 2 or 3 new applications targeting high interest keywords, apps that are simple to build and easy to market on social media. Because here is the thing, having a good app isn't enough. If no one knows it exists, it's basically invisible. Marketing, trends, social media campaigns and ASO, these are just as important as coding the app itself. I saw people on X that are building apps in public and a very important key thing is that they are marketing their applications. The first app I'm going to release is a roasting app. Yeah, I know it sounds funny, but apps like these have a lot of potential. They are not too hard to rank in the top 10 applications and they tend to get good engagement. For app store optimization, I'm using Astro, which helps a lot with keywords research and tracking rankings. So if you want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description. The functionality is pretty simple. Users get two free credits and if they want to generate more roast, they have to purchase the premium version. I'm curious to see how this monetization strategy will perform. Will people pay for a few more laughs? That's the experiment and that's what makes indie app development so exciting. You try, you learn and you adapt. One thing I have realized over these months is that building indie apps isn't just about the money, it's about building skills that no one can take away. I've learned so much about design, coding, analytics and ASO, more than I ever did in any of my previous jobs. Another insight is the power of compounding effort. One app might only make a few dollars at first but when you start stacking apps and iterating on them it adds up and the skills you gain in one app carry over to the next. It's like creating a small ecosystem where every success no matter how small contributes to the bigger picture. I've also started thinking about long term strategy, right now my focus is on reaching 600 MRR but eventually I want to explore new subscription models or apps that are tied to viral social media trends. The idea isn't just to make money, it's to create a system that grows and evolves over the time while I keep learning and experimenting. Another thing I'm considering is this. If one of my apps starts performing really well in downloads and ranks in high keywords, but for some reason it doesn't generate a lot of money, I might try to sell it. Because I want to see how much someone would be willing to pay for an application that has a good traction but isn't earning much yet. It's an interesting strategy because sometimes the value isn't just in the revenue, it's in the potential. So yeah, that's something I might experiment with alongside growing my apps MRR. Anyways, I also started taking better care of my body, going to the gym, because when your body is healthy, your mind works better too. On top of that, I've been diving into books. Right now, I'm reading Sell Like Crazy by Sabri Subi, and if you have any business or personal growth book recommendations, I'd love to hear them. 
If you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more videos. And stay tuned because next week I will be dropping a new day in the life video where I will show you exactly how a productive day in my life looks. So see you then and take care of yourself. Bye bye.